how to not get scammed from Alibaba. First thing you guys are gonna wanna do is find a manufacturer. And I found the best way of doing this is either checking the reviews or looking for client images slash photos that are presented within the reviews. But another way of finding a good manufacturer is using this thing called Live View, where you can see manufacturers who are currently live showing off the garments and what they've produced. And that's essentially how I found my original manufacturer. I literally hopped onto the live and texted the guy through live chat and said, hey, I'm about to order my sample. And he asked, what's the garment for? And I said, the hoodie, and he showed the hoodie. From there, I was able to trust the guy and I ordered the garment, which was probably the best way of physically telling if the item is good enough to start printing slash putting my designs on. And that's when I started ordering custom samples. So you can understand the quality of the garment in itself. Once you see that the stitching is up to par and everything else looks fine, then you can start prepping your designs for the bulk order. But let me tell you, that is super expensive. I'm talking about most samples, even for a simple hoodie, will run you around, I would say 100 to 150 USD, just with a simple graphic printed onto the hoodie. And you might also wanna sell your kidney just to pay for the shipping, but it's okay. On a serious note, this is my manufacturer. These people produce some of the highest quality garments. And the more you spend, obviously, the better quality you can get. They offer a wide range of services, but in terms of printing and where you can print, it's pretty limited unless you're ordering more than 50 units. And their minimum tends to be within the 40 to 50 unit range. You're probably asking yourself, what the hell is he talking about in terms of minimum quantity or MOQ? So let me just break your heart real quick. So minimum quantity or MOQ refers to the amount of garments you're gonna be ordering per design or for the design that you want. And the more you order, the better buying power you have in the negotiation phase of this. And yes, you can negotiate pricing with manufacturers. If you're only ordering around 40 to 50 units, you're gonna get very humbled in what you can and what you can't negotiate. Very simple economics. It just doesn't make sense for them to make screens, higher manpower slash labor to produce these garments if you're not ordering enough. Also things like getting custom fabric colors, you'll also get humbled on very quickly unless you're ordering enough or unless you're willing to pay the premium. And another thing before we get to finalizing you going to your payment is when you're ordering these custom samples, you're talking to a sales rep within that company, just like any other sales business or any other business to have salespeople who talk through the customization phase and each of them work for the same company. So you might have an Alibaba page that is linked to the same company, but you're talking to a different person and that's hundred percent fine. At first that really confused me, but then I understood that it's the same company and the people People all have connections so if you send somebody this quote and they're sending you a different quote just say hey i got this guy that i'm working that's working in your same company they quoted me this so we're gonna stick with this price and that was very handy for me when i was ordering stuff like my hats because i was talking to one person from a different team and the other person quoted me something different but we we're able to resolve that just to sum it up real quick the more you order the cheaper it is it's going to be per unit or per garment and the less you order, the closer it's gonna to get to retail per unit slash per garment. And that's just simple economics and how business works. So essentially, you're gonna to wanna to have to find a sweet spot between what you can afford and how much you can hold. Can I see some work? So if you guys don't wanna get scammed, ask for photos slash pictures of the garment that you wanna produce, or most of these manufacturers will steal images from other manufacturers and just post them up. And this seems to be one of the most common thing that I get in my DMs, people are saying, hey, all these people have the same images, I don't know who to pick, like, what would you recommend I do? Firstly, check the damn reviews. Just check the reviews. See if they look legit. Most reviews can be fabricated. If you want to be double safe in making your order, make sure to just do further due diligence. Most of them have this very cringy video of like factories that are very generic and this isn't very secure because most of them have the same video on their about us page. But look at the companies they've worked with. But the most important thing I would look at is just the company introduction. So the verification and stuff like that. So you look at the country of origin, the year the company was established. If it's a trusted manufacturer by Alibaba 
and look at the recent transactions also because then it will give you an indication that people are actually ordering from these people and also just look at the accepted payment methods because this is going to come in handy later on lastly let's just go over payment so i would recommend you guys do split payments or payments in three um, just to ensure that your manufacturer doesn't have all your money so they can't run off unless they just want to run off with their initial deposit that you put down to start manufacturing for instance if you order I would say a hundred shirts is probably the cheapest you're gonna get I don't know and you're ordering fourteen dollars per unit and it's a hundred shirts you're looking at a thousand four hundred for that one drop or if you do payments into, you're looking at still $700, which is a substantial amount for anyone, especially if you're starting out within this process. I don't know who's telling you guys that you can start a brand for $0. They're lying to you. Um, you're either going to have to spend that money in marketing so you can start pre-orders, or you're going to have to spend that money in building the website. Something is going to cost some money. And whoever's saying you can start a brand with a potato and no sort of presence slash audience is probably setting you up to fail. Now, I'm not going to say there aren't ways. There's totally ways of doing it without any money, but you're just going to have to be skilled in other areas. Maybe you're good at 3D and you can generate physical mockups within 3D of the garment and somehow post it on TikTok. And now you've got crowdfunding through pre-orders. That's a way of doing it. But I don't really like pre-orders, primarily because if you take longer than two weeks to three weeks to ship somebody's item, you're most likely going to be caught a scam on TikTok. And that's how it is. And brand image is everything. So once you're labeled as a scam and people don't really do any research, and I'm no way in any shape or form saying the pre-order method is not valid. The pre-order method is very, very valid, especially if you want to save money or you're firstly getting into this or you generally don't have an audience and you want to build that audience. Pre-order method is very effective in generating revenue so you don't have to come out of pocket to purchase garments. But stocking garments is very stressful, especially if you can't move anything or you don't know how to market. It just depends. Pick your poison. Would you rather spend the money up front now or would you rather have the pressure of producing these garments in a quick enough time so you're not labeled a scam?